visionary it is, yes. Brilliant. Scientific elegance. I wanted to, to know why things are the way they are. He's passionate about both, about both the fundamental mechanism and the translational aspect. I think that is really what makes him quite unique, a quite unique scientist. He establishes with the people around him um, a very professional and trust-based relationship. So it's extremely pleasant to discuss with him in presence of people he works with. As well too, but it also can sometimes could be a little stressful at times too because the expectation is very high. He's really the one who established car -T cell as a realistic and an efficient uh, therapy for cancer. We uh, met in uh, 1991 uh, when he was uh, working at the Whitehead Institute and there he was working um, already on the genetic modification of hematopoietic stem cells so that um, we could uh, treat uh, patients with genetic deficiencies such as uh, thalassemia or immunodeficiencies. Uh, it became clear uh, in the field of transplantation in particular that on occasion T cells present in a transplant could treat a cancer. And hence the, the idea I formed that uh, the T cells can do it, but they need some help. And we could provide that help in the form of a genetic instruction to instruct the T cell to go and perform the task that we want it to perform. Notre système immunitaire est programmé pour détecter et détruire les cellules dangereuses. Il est composé d'innombrables cellules, des globules blancs, dont certains sont appelés lymphocytes. Ces derniers disposent de récepteurs qui leur permettent de reconnaître et éliminer les cellules anormales. Mais face aux cellules cancéreuses, ils se révèlent parfois inefficaces. Michel Sadelin et son équipe ont mis au point une immunothérapie personnalisée qui repose sur l'amélioration des lymphocytes de chaque patient. Ces lymphocytes de type T sont modifiés pour produire un récepteur créé par les chercheurs et capable de reconnaître les cellules cancéreuses. Comment cette modification est-elle réalisée À partir d'une prise de sang, les lymphocytes T du patient sont isolés. Il est alors possible d'intégrer dans leur ADN un plan de fabrication qu'ils n'avaient pas encore, celui qui permet la production du récepteur CAR, Chimeric Antigen Receptor, capable de reconnaître les cellules cancéreuses. Les lymphocytes T, ainsi créés, sont reprogrammés et opérationnels contre le cancer. Ces lymphocytes améliorés sont ensuite cultivés. Lorsqu'ils se sont multipliés, ils peuvent être injectés au patient. Ils redonnent alors à son propre système immunitaire la capacité de détecter le cancer et donc de l'attaquer. Aujourd'hui utilisée dans le traitement de certains cancers du sang, y compris chez les enfants, cette technique révolutionnaire suscite beaucoup d'espoir. This required uh, genetic instructions. And some people said, well, gene therapy is dangerous. This required using cells. And some people said, using cells is impractical, too cumbersome, and could never uh, be implemented. Some people said, you cannot educate a T cell to, on its own, fight a cancer. And that needed the design of chimeric antigen receptors. I think his ideas were already extremely uh, mature uh, in terms of his way of thinking about how to translate the uh, technology to the patient. And at the time we didn't have any product, we didn't have any cells to deliver to the patient. I mean, it was really setting up the laboratory of the future. The Sloan Kettering Institute within Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center provided Michel with the support to develop his visions. It was something that at that time was a bet, was a high risk entity, but we believed in it. And the result is what we are celebrating today. Uh, CAR T cells have shown to the field of medicine and pharmacology that cells can make good medicine. We create living drugs. They can cure diseases. We also know that they can be harmful. They can even kill. So they have to be directed and they have to be tamed. So there's, the industry is really focusing right now on what kind of bioreactors and what kind of um, media culture you can use. So there's a 
quite a, a way to continue to improve the, the delivery of these, of these drugs. And <clears throat> in terms of um, the uh, biology and physiology of the chemical. By understanding why it is failing or the mechanism of resistance, that you can actually try to get kind of a much more rational way to develop a better uh, therapy. The real uh, challenge is to develop these this, uh, treatments for, for solid tumors. That remains to be seen, of course, but the, the approach is applicable in principle to a range of cancers. It doesn't stop there. We think that CAR T cells could also be of therapeutic benefit in intractable infectious diseases, in autoimmune disorders, and perhaps uh, against uh, chronic inflammation. This award is, is given by a prestigious uh, society. Uh, it is led by uh, an international jury with uh, luminaries of science. Uh, and it comes uh, from France, uh, one of the, the powerhouses in medicine and cancer research. I find it essential uh, to have uh, awards that, like this one, are, are generously given uh, without uh, strings attached to them. What I mean by that is uh, support that enables to explore risky projects. I think uh, the generous supporters uh, of the Ach Foundation and the Leopold Luth Griefeld Award because they enable special things to happen, research that otherwise may never be funded. Mm -hmm.